Been Caught Stealing. Shame on everybody for not requesting this song. I am running for Prime Minister of Canada on the platform that everyone should know how to play this song. Without names to shout out, I'll just thank some Patreon folks. Mr. Ian Cannon and Mr. Eric Crawley. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your support. God, that made a mark in the wall. And if you think you might like to join the Craziest Friends Club, the link, of course, is in the description. The first two chords are the most fun thing in life after chickpeas. What you're going to do is take your pointer finger and put it across the G, B, and E strings in the third fret, and take some other finger, preferably your finger, and put it on the baby E string one fret higher. Strum that. And then strum it one fret down. You could include the D string if you want it. I don't think they do, but it's hard to decide. Anyways, it wouldn't change the chord, so if you want a little more beef there, go right on ahead. D through B, and then baby E, one fret higher. And that's the first two chords. By the way, let's take a look at that mysterious chord shape. A is very familiar to you, and probably A7 as well. When we play A7, we open up the G string. We add a G note into our A chord. What do you know, the baby E string third fret is another G note, so this is another way to play A7. So putting it one fret higher is B flat seven. We're playing B flat seven, A seven. That's what this shape is. For the verse, you're gonna take your pointer finger and lay it across D, G, B in the fifth fret, and your middle finger's gonna go on B6, your ring finger is going to go on G7. Your middle and ring fingers are going to bounce on and off, hence bothering to bar those strings with your pointer finger. And go back on one more time, and then raise your pinky finger up to the B string 8th fret. Then we go nice and slow. the verse and it proceeds in that fashion until well it's just a simple fact and this is great because it's super dissonant these notes don't belong and they did it on purpose right we've got our little shape there of d5 g7 and b6 well it's you just move it down one fret just a simple fact back to where we were the second half of the riff right before we go up to eight on the B string. Well, it's just a simple fact. And then you keep going with the one more time. Well, I walk right through the door. This is just a C. You could play just C, but we're going to need B flat coming up right here anyways, which is this same awful shape. So the bar chord, I'm afraid, A3, D, G, B, 5. And when it rings out, you clearly hear that E string 3rd fret, which is technically a part of this bar chord. We just never do it because it's a huge pain in the butt. You have to bend your ring finger just so, and it kind of hurts. Or play the chord like this, which is equally bad. So if you don't care about that detail, then neither do I. And I'm just going to play the C bar chord. Well, I walk right through the door, and then down to B flat, two frets lower. Back up to C, back, back down to B flat, F. And then we might as well play G, just how we played F, the bar chord, one, three, three, two, and then G is two frets higher than that. So, well, I walk right through the door. Walk right through the door. Then we're going to play C again, but we are going to eschew the A string in favor of being able to mess around with the B and E string. So just D, G, B, 5 with your pointer finger, but start with the B string up on 6. Let it fall down to 5. Remember, we were chugging away on that G chord for context. Then back up to 6 on the B string. Up to E6 on the E string, and now we're in that magic shape again at which point we play the intro, the first two chords. So here is those two things together. I'm gonna 
fudge this little lead part just a little bit to make it be a little more congruent, but I promise you, none of your friends will ever know. Okay, so we've got our, our verse shape, right, on five, six, and seven. And we're taking our middle and ring fingers off. We'll move this up 12 frets, makes it the same thing an octave higher. We'll just be on frets uh, um, 17, 18, and 19. And just like there, we're gonna take our middle and ring fingers off, but be a little more plucky about it. After you do that twice, grab the G string 16th fret, the B string 18th fret, and the baby E string 19th fret. All right, so. That's close enough for me. And the next time anything is different is the la da 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 section. We're gonna have our C. Down to B flat and then the magic shape somewhere we haven't done it yet. So ultimate dissonance. One of the reasons I love this song, on the fourth and fifth frets. Down a fret and back up. One more time. And then at the very end, the last time you're gonna do your. But then there's more. We're gonna hit the A-shaped C, but without bothering with the B string. Into the magic shape. And then the intro chords. And then the song ends on the verse shape. Five, seven, six. And that's it. Those are all the pieces. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.